it's Annie. Today I'm going to be painting some photo holders. I'm going to be using them for Polaroid photos, but they'll work for any. I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up these wooden clothespins and also these wooden uh, signs, hanging signs. I'm going to go ahead and gesso those to have a nice blank canvas to paint on. And it's optional if you want to varnish after if you want that shine. And then I just used regular acrylic paints, you know, the, the cheapy kind. After I removed the yarn, just because I didn't want to get any paint on it, I went ahead and sanded down the edges of both of the signs with a really, really fine sandpaper just so that it's all smooth and I wouldn't give myself any splinters or anything like that. And then after I did the sanding, it was gesso time. I went a little crazy with the gesso, just kind of spreading it around. It doesn't really have to look perfect. It's just the base coat we're getting in here. And then I decided on a really light baby pink color for the background color for both of the signs. And I wanted to do two different designs, uh, but sort of in the same color palette, so they matched a little. For this first one, I went ahead and picked some pretty random colors, just the only qualification being colors that I liked, <laughs> which uh, I do end up regretting because it kind of looked like a hot mess once it was all done because literally none of them matched, but whatever. I did lightly sketch some flowers uh, for this design, but I wish I had used some kind of stencil because, as you'll see, they uh, a lot of them look a little lopsided. <laughs> They don't really match, uh, definitely could have been better with a stencil, and I think better if I had picked colors that went together, complemented each other in some way. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I, I, I don't really like how this sign turned out in general, and I knew that was going to happen as I was painting it, and I kind of thought, hmm, you know, how can I fix this? <laughs> Spoiler, I can't, but I did try. I brought out my Posca pen and thought, hmm, maybe this would look better if it was outlined. Does it look better outlined? Uh, I don't know. No, probably, I would say, because the outline is so dramatic on the lighter colors, and you can barely see it on, on the purple, so it just, <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> but it was fun, and it, you know, in the end, it functions as a a photo holder, and that was the main goal, so, you know, we get there eventually. Lots of uh, hurdles along the way. But um, we don't have to talk about that. Let's just uh, go ahead and move on to the second one. And here we go again with the light baby pink. I do realize this is a bit too light and I do darken it up a little bit with another coat or two after this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and go with a food theme for this sign. And I smartened up a bit and used a stencil because there's absolutely no way I'm going to be doing any hand lettering with acrylic paint. That would be a disaster for me. <laughs> so I just quickly uh, stenciled out the word cafe at the top here. Uh, in very light penciling, 
so that it hopefully doesn't show through the paint. I went ahead and sketched out a few different foods. This would be a very strange menu for a cafe, but uh, we're just going with anything that's round. And these are the colors I chose for the food items. I do end up liking how this one turns out a lot more, so stick around to see the finished product. goodness I just love how this turned out I think it's so cute my favorite is probably the donut I just love the little sprinkles on it and then the next step was just adding the clothespins to it I kind of fumbled around a bit trying to get a placement that I liked and then once I did that I used some hot glue and just stuck them right on there works out perfect just had to be careful to not put too much on so it didn't stick out around the edges and this is how they turned out I just added some pink yarn to hang them up and then uh, stuck some what are those called like the command hooks I think they're called hung them up that way put a little picture of my dog on them <laughs> And I'm really looking forward to adding more pictures to this. I just love uh, how they add a little pop of color to the white wall I'm always staring at. And thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing so you can see the next time I post.